Hello, hello. Welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into reference architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm Rob, your host, joined with a guy who shrank two feet since I last saw him, Tom. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring how performance dashboard on AWS helps our public sector customers visualize and build data-driven performance metrics. That's great. Let's go take a look. Tom, talk to me about performance dashboard on AWS. Certainly. This is the landing page for the solution. Uh, like all of our solutions, we have an architectural diagram. Uh, we have a link to a CloudFormation template so that you can, within a couple of clicks, have it launched in your account. Mm -hmm. uh, a link through to the source code that's available on GitHub and a detailed implementation guide. Very nice. Let's bring up the architecture diagram, please. Sure. So it looks like it's divided into front end, back end. Let's walk through the front end first. Sure. So uh, this is essentially a web app. Um, so on the front end, we have a React app hosted in S3, and that is fronted by CloudFront so that everyone's accessing it through that um, CloudFront distribution. So how the users actually get to the dashboard. Correct, yes. How do we configure the dashboard? So the back end is a very typical serverless architecture. Uh, we have um, an API gateway that the React app will interact with, and that's hooked up to a Lambda function. And the, what is the Lambda function actually calling? The Lambda function is doing two things. Uh, this, this app is about visualizing data. So we have S3 to store that data. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Lambda will be retrieving it from there. Uh, and then we have DynamoDB for our uh, metadata for all of the uh, dashboards, all of the config, and details like that. So this is where the admin is actually doing the configuration. Correct. How are we authenticating them? So there are three types of users. There's obviously the public user where there's no authentication. They're just coming to your site and, mm -hmm. and seeing your data. Uh, and then on the back end, we have two users. We have an admin, which has the full admin rights to set up the site. Um, and then an editor role where you can actually create and manage dashboards. And can we use third-party authentication? We can. You've been looking at the architectural diagram. Uh, we have uh, support for SAML and federated access uh, through Cognito. OK, cool. So can we take a look at what one of the dashboards looks like? We can indeed. So this is the public-facing view. OK. Um, so I have a, we can categorize our data. Uh, there's a simple search to be able to look through. And then these are each of the different dashboards that we have configured. Um, if we take a closer look at one of the dashboards, here you can see some of the visualizations of the data. And all these visualizations are predefined? Yeah, there's a whole set of um, templates uh, that are available. Um, you just need to provide the data in CSV format. Why not just use QuickSight for this? Um, this is a lot simpler than QuickSights. Uh, QuickSights uh, takes a lot of uh, skill to actually get it set up, and you still need to be able to actually build the website. So this will create the website for you, uh, but that you could easily incorporate QuickSights uh, dashboards into this site. So simplicity is really key to this. Simplicity is the key. All right, so lots of different dashboard types. How do you actually administer this and set one up? Sure. Uh, this is the admin view. Um, so let me take you back to the beginning. Uh, there are basically three areas that we're looking at. Uh, you have um, creating and managing your dashboards. Um, you have user management, so you can add additional editors and things like that. Okay. And then just some general settings where you can change the look and feel, add your logo. A little bit of customization. A little bit of customization, but no need for sort of front-end development um, skill set. Again, simplicity. Exactly. Okay, so show me how to create a dashboard, please. Yeah, certainly. So. This is the dashboard that we were looking at earlier. So here's the existing content that's mm -hmm. on there. I can just simply add some content. Here are my kind of predefined sets. Already set up for us. Already set okay. up for us. Uh, let's select a chart. Um, and then from there, you have two options. We can use static data, data set, so I can just browse and upload a CSV file. Okay. Uh, your data does need to be pre-processed, so it aligns to the KPIs that you're trying to demonstrate. Um, and we're using CSV format. The second option is dynamic data sets. So okay. the, there's an API that comes with the solution. Uh, and so you can, you can continually update that content, that CSV file. Uh, and the dashboards will update every time you update that content. So with just a few clicks, we could import a CSV and see the visualization. Yeah, and that really is it. Awesome. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. AWS Performance Dashboard helps you visualize and manage your cloud workloads. Come check out this and all our other solutions on our website. See you there. <laughs>